Hello lovely people. Hi. Welcome back to another Jessie and Claude video. And in today's video, we're going to do a face memory test. I was going to sign it, but I was going to say, <laughs> face memory to remember. remember. Oh, this is like to forget. forget. Well, that's a face forget. That's going to be. Yeah, you, you forgot. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot the whole thing. I forgot what test we're doing. It's it's okay, honey. I um I have a, I have memory problems. This is known. We know this. It's a known quantity. However, I do think I'm okay at faces. Okay. No? Am I not? Maybe yeah. I'm I mean, not. I'm really bad at faces. You are. No, I'm not actually. I'm good at faces. I'm bad at names. You're awful at names. Well, we'll find out in a minute. Yes, we'll we? find out. And please play along with us. See whether you too are bad or good at faces. I think a lot of us are bad at names, but good at faces. Is this gonna have a name? Test. Is it going to be like who is this famous person? Because I won't know. I might know the face, but I won't know the name. So that's not really fair. It's not a pop cu pop culture okay, test. Good. I hate pop culture. We know. <laughs> I'm so bad at pop culture. You are terrible at pop culture. I just basically live in the garden. No shed, one's like, quizzing. Don't ask me anything about what's going on in the world. We'll, name, we'll quiz you on some leaves, okay? <laughs> so apparently, the human brain has a special module that's used to recognise faces. But the more you exercise it, the better it becomes. Okay. So for those of us who work in customer service jobs, you're probably much better at recognising faces than people who don't see faces often. When I was working as a dentist, <laughs> I saw quite a lot of faces every day. And it's true, like, I would recognise the face. I might not see recognise the name always on the no. like, computer, but when they come in, I'm like, oh, it's you. You are very good. If we're just driving around, you'll be like, oh, that's an old patient. Like, <laughs> <I don't laughs> really far down the street. And we're like, I don't really know. I don't exclaim and such excitement. <laughs> <laughs> I should also apologise by the way everyone, I am a bit ill because our baby goes to nursery. Only for like two mornings a week but he's got ill and yes. now I'm ill because I have a non-working immune system. Yes. So, in this test, you'll be shown a long series of faces. For each face, you must say if you've been shown this person before, or if it's a new face you've not been shown okay. yet. Well, we're gonna have to do this test separately, or are we just gonna be like, yes, no? Is it done on time, or just like, yes or no, quickly? It should take two to five minutes to complete. Then do the test individually. Oh, okay. I'm taking it, oh, it's happening. Okay, this is a, this is a new person, because this is a new test. New, new. Oh, oh, I've seen him, new. Oh, I've seen him. No. Uh, so maybe, I the I'm room. just doing it by their hair. Maybe I should leave oh. the room. Oh God! Wow, these people are very nineties. I have I to should, say. I should like block my ears or something. Uh, uh, no, no. I've seen him. Uh, I've definitely seen her because of those earrings. I've seen all that hair before. He's new. Ah, uh, that's a really bad photo. He's new. I've seen him. Oh, you completed the test. Did you try your best? I did try my best, yes. Oh, you got 60 of 75 questions correct. The average score is 63.7. Ah, my score is higher than 16.3% of other people who take this test. Well, that's not bad, is it? I got 60 questions correct. 60 out of 75. That's good. Well, there you go, your face memory test is your face. Your memory of faces. So like not a more concinct way of saying that. Concise way. You're trying to say Fremory. concise and succinct. Yes, I do that a lot. I like join words together, don't I? <laughs> succinct yeah. and concise, so I said concinct. It's amazing actually that you even understand what I've said, seeing that you lip read. <laughs> So you're like, what I'm the just hell is that word? I'm just very used to you. I understand you much more than I understand any other person. Even though I have speech problems. Yes. <laughs> okay, right. What do I do? New. Okay. Well, if you've never seen the face, you click new. Feel free to do a running commentary. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, I'm like, yes. I'm in like competitive <laughs> mode. Yeah. It's not actually timed. Oh, it's not timed. Oh, I could probably slow down a bit then because I'm like, <laughs> what have I done on timing? Like, how fast do you respond? I know, yeah. When has this test been done as well? Because they look like it's very kind of like. It's in the 90s, isn't it? Uh, yeah, is it? 90s. I was going to say, yeah, you're probably right. Kind of bad hairstyles. When I was at school, I very distinctly remember like boys having uh, like curtains and then it turned into quiffs. What do they do now? I don't see any particular hairstyle. It seems to be like I feel a... like everyone has their own Yeah, hairstyle. it's more about like having your own. Very much like when we were younger in the noughties, it was like, you must follow the set thing. Like, all the girls had straight hair. Oh I like, had God. to straighten my hair, can't clean. The Tintin. 
And such a high fashion haircut, really, when you think about it. I'm not it. even concentrating on this anymore. I feel like I'm doing really badly. <laughs> It's always like the ones that are new, you're like, oh, friendly face. And the ones you've seen before, you're like, oh, I don't like you. Did you feel, did you feel like that? It's like, they like feel like they keep popping. It's like, new, new, new. Oh. <laughs> did you try your best and can we store your data? I didn't really try my best. <laughs> did I say no? Oh, they clicked no. I think I did very badly. Oh. You got higher than me. <laughs> <laughs> I got 42% higher than most people. That's hilarious. I really wasn't concentrating. <laughs> we didn't fail? <laughs> no, we didn't fail. <laughs> we remembered some people, other people we did not remember. Oh. I'm better than Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> At least I know how to record the screen. Alright, well that was just like a fun, quick little like fire face. Fire face? Fire face, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I personally found it quite like, you know, I can see why they use these kind of things for interrogation tactics. <laughs> Do you feel interrogated? Yeah. What does this say about you? No, just Psychologically, like... Claudia, you can't cope with faces. <laughs> it's more like the flashing, like you click and it's just another thing. Like normally when you click, it like changes to something else. But like every time I clicked, it was just like a face face. It was just like, I don't know, it was, just, it was very intrusive. I did not find I should probably also do it as a test. In any way, like, psychologically. Are you an extrovert or an introvert? Or damaging. So like, you were like, yeah, faces, I'm getting energy. You know? Okay, let's take that test. We've moved on to the multidimensional introversion extroversion scales. So this is an interactive personality test measuring traits that differ between introverts and extroverts. I mean, maybe we can do it together. And we're doing it together for you. Oh, okay. Let's go. Healthy and vibrant. Yeah. <laughs> Babe, it's disagree, slightly disagree, neutral, slightly agree and agree. Most of the time, slightly, <laughs> slightly, yeah. slightly agree. I, I don't like to draw attention to myself. Yeah, slightly agree. That would be great. <laughs> I tend to be admired by others. Slightly agree. I do, but I don't <laughs> like attention. <laughs> I'd be pleased if asked to speak to you at a funeral. No, not really. Slightly disagree. Not totally disagree. It depends who your funeral is. I would be pleased. <laughs> I don't think anyone's delighted to have know, to maybe speak are. at a funeral. I spend most of my time, time in fan fantasy worlds. Neutral. I think I'm quite, not really. I wouldn't say fantasy worlds. I daydream a lot, but about like real stuff. I would not in any way class you as spending time in fantasy worlds, but I want a huge social circle. <sighs> Uh, slightly disagree. Slightly? I'm like, I don't, I'm not hard enough to go for like, <laughs> agree, disagree. I'm like, really? <laughs> Depends what kind of party, isn't it? I mean, Didn't it's get any way involved in planning our son's party, did you? Mm. I prefer to eat alone. <laughs> no. <laughs> disagree. I really like dancing. How mm. drunk is she? Slightly disagree. I don't, I'm not a big, I love to do impressions. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> but only with like a select audience. <laughs> Mainly Jessica and Rupert. That's about it. <laughs> she does impressions all day long. Hey, Mainly of the dogs. They come out. Apparently, I did a great impression of the pigeon the other day. I don't even do it like like. You know what? I'm gonna do a really comedic impression right now. It's not like that's what I think. It's literally I just get into the psyche of the pigeon and then I just like. I'm a bundle of joy. I don't know. Can you meant to answer that yourself? Um, I don't think so. No. No. I don't no. think people would describe me as... No, I strongly disagree. <laughs> Slightly disagree. I'm not a, like, horrible person to be around. I love excitement. <laughs> I don't talk a lot. <laughs> yes. I mean, I do want to get going with the right people. I make a lot of hand motions when I talk. I mean, I think I do, but when I'm out in public, maybe I kind of keep it quiet. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, I think I do at home, really. Yeah. And then when I'm alone, when I'm chatting to someone, I'm like, I just keep my hands to my side. Oh my God, I'm so weird. All right. <laughs> Claudia doesn't sign in public. This one's, my life would not make a good story. <gasps> I don't know. I mean, I would be, I would wonder who would want to watch a story of my life, but I don't think it would I'd be like it. the worst one. I'd watch I it. I mean, I'm the wife of like a, Lovely, gorgeous, oh. vintage, loving, glamorous YouTube star. Bob, you just made your story about someone else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they often are. It's often like following, you like know, a like time traveler's wife. They're like that. That they did like Kennedy. What's her name? Jackie Kennedy. Yeah. Well, her life in itself was quite interesting. Oh, cheers, babe. Like, you know, <laughs> maybe mine is. I didn't say. <laughs> I just picked you up. I'm saying. I'm saying. 
<laughs> Your life is allowed to be interesting in itself. Well, I would say my life would not make a good story. I think oh um, neutral. I think it could be relatively alright. It's not like the most amazing story. It's probably better than some stories out there. It's not ended yet. Exactly. So slightly disagree. Who knows? <laughs> I'd like to be in a parade. Not really. No. I am brave. I would say I am. I would like to be to try bungee. No, I don't want to try bungee jumping. <laughs> I would go surfing regularly if I lived on a beach. We pretty much do live on a beach. I was going to say, yeah, I would. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a surfing beach. Sure, honey. I laugh a lot. Yes, I agree. I'm happy with my life. I agree. Yeah, you better well, finally, we finally ended. What oh, am I? Oh. Is he going to say I'm an extrovert? <laughs> oh my god. A hit. They range from minus 500 to plus 500. The average score for self-identified introverts is minus, is minus 100. 100. And the average score for self-identified extroverts is plus 100. Your score is minus 97. Oh, right. So I'm pretty introverted. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much bang on. An average score of an introvert. No, oh. so I just mean like when I'm around people, I get a bit high because it's like really nice. But like, yeah, I get, I do like, it kind of ebbs and flows. So there'll be like a moment where I'm feeling quite relaxed and in my element and I'm having a good time. But then suddenly with the same people in the same environment, it can just suddenly be like, oh God, I feel awkward and like, I'm not sure about this. And like, I think I might want to just go home now. And then suddenly it will go up again to like, oh no, this is nice, like I'm having a good time. Oh yeah, this bit of conversation's good. I can cope with this. Oh yeah, I feel like, you know, I feel like valued and seen. Oh no, everyone hates me. Oh my God, oh shit, like I'm so boring. That's what happens yeah. basically. It's quite tiring for me. <laughs> Cause like sometimes when we have people at our house and you'll just be like, I wish everyone would go home. Yeah, and suddenly, like you've said, like, like I'll be like, ha ha, yeah, like really quite involved, and so I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I've had enough. <laughs> it's like, okay. I guess that's why it's exhausting for introverts to be around people because of that constant like wave of, you know, oh I'm fine, oh no, I'm not sure if I'm fine. Like, oh I'm enjoying myself, oh no, I'm not enjoying myself. Whereas for me, even though my body's like got no energy, I'm just like, I will push through because this is my drug. I just like always am thinking second thinking, every, what everyone has said and what I've said and everyone's body language and everyone's actions and my own actions. You really think through language. my actions as well. Yeah. <laughs> She'll bring up to me the next day, you said this and then I saw that some other people may have looked to the left. Not agreed with and that opinion. So perhaps they were, didn't agree with you yeah. and I'm like, I don't even remember saying that. Like, yeah. I, that was one of many 700 things I said that day. It was a passing comment. And, and I know the reality is it, you'd be much better off just being like you and just saying slightly offensive or inappropriate <laughs> things occasionally, but the overall gist of things is that you're a Not lovely... the intention to be Yeah, offensive. yeah, but like, because I'm so worried about saying or doing the wrong thing or upsetting someone, I don't say much at all, or I say like, just or I avoid any kind of risque conversation, you know? <laughs> Oh, which then just people are like, oh, she's a bit dull. I'd rather talk to Jessica. She's way more exciting, even if she offends like my clothing choice. Oh my hair! It's really not not my intention to do so. I just have no tact <laughs> <laughs> or ability to shut myself yeah. up. That's I've always been so... drawn to people like you who are like who just say what they think all the time because I guess it's what I like. Yeah. You know. I think I just have no inhibition. Yeah, yeah. There's no barrier. It's basically what it is. Yeah. I just can't stop myself. I can't bite my tongue. Thank you so much for watching and for joining us as we uncover things we already knew about Claudia. Yeah. Bye. Bye bye.